Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on Forza Horizon 5 for some more multiplayer races. Now, for this one, we are tackling some off-road and cross-country circuits using rear-wheel drive B-class cars. However, there were some restrictions on what could be used. They had to be vehicles that started off rear-wheel drive initially, so you couldn't swap a Land Rover, for example, to be rear-wheel drive, and they couldn't be something that was intended for specific extreme off-road racing, things like the buggies and the UTVs and all of that kind of stuff. I have got a Renault 5 Turbo. Admittedly, it was intended as a rally car, uh, but it's not a buggy, so that's fine. Um, yeah, I've got a Renault 5. I've not built one of these before, I don't think. Not in Horizon 5. Anyway, my hope with this is kind of twofold, really. First of all, surprisingly big tyres on it. I think it's 295s at the rear while being quite light. Uh, so good power to weight ratio, nice big rear tyres, and mid engine. And I'm hoping the mid engine part is going to really help me here. I'm, I'm looking for some traction basically. Uh, we are going to be down on power to things like the Dodge Coronet and there's a couple of other muscle cars. I think there was a Cyclone I saw somewhere. Uh, they're going to have a lot more power than I do. But we are going to be so much lighter. So my hope is we'll be better in the corners. I know I'm not running Forza Aero because I know I'm so far down on power. Uh, the downside I might have with my little Renault is we might struggle over the jumps and the bumps and the Toyota is trying to piggyback or the Toyotas are trying to a uh, totem pole their way around. So yeah, we might struggle a little bit with some of the bumps because I'm on rally suspension but we're not got the same ground clearance as the Coronet for example. Uh, here for example, oh, uh, I think we could have got away with fourth gear. Uh, so yeah, it, that will get its way through the water better than I will. And the other downside of the Renault 5 is it is notoriously twitchy. If you get it right, it's quick. But if you get it wrong, you spin. And I mean, that is kind of the downside of short wheelbase, mid-engine, kind of Clio V6 territory. Um, yeah, we will try our best, of course. The Coronet is very sideways out of there. Uh, we've got Ferrari lining up. It's a weird group. It's, it is a weird group of cars. 60s muscle car, 80s rally car. Is it early... 60s, late 50s Ferrari? And then a 90s Toyota are all mixing it up here. I'm not actually sure what age the California is. Um, God, dear. But we're all quite evenly matched, so far at least. The Toyota does look quick if it gets into some clean air. Uh, this track, I think, might be a bit too open for me. I think we need a more twisty circuit for us to beat the Dodge. The Toyota looks like a handful in some places as well. Uh, and every time we gain on the dodge, we then lose out as we go through the water. Actually, I'll tell you what, the dodge is not very quick on the exit of that water section, which does surprise me. I would have thought if anywhere, that would have been where the dodge was strongest. It's got such a good ground clearance. We have great traction there, though. We are going to put the Renault's traction to good use. We're going to fire ourselves up the inside of the dodge. Don't get carried away and try not to slide it. When you see the big slides from the dodge, that is much easier to catch than my car is. If I go, if I get things wrong with this, very, very difficult to catch it. It's very keen to try and snap around, and sure enough, Glisco has found a way past, and it's the Ferrari to the lead. Ferrari slides through to turn one. We're going to get ourselves to the inside. The Dodge is trying to look for a way back past me. There's a Toyota somewhere not a million miles away that's going to try and buy into all of this. I don't know if I wanted third gear at all there or not, but we got it. Um, the Dodge is back to the lead of the race. Toyota's to the outside. The Toyota's really fast the first section. It seems to fall off a little bit later on. We get big oversteer again through there, or more fighting big oversteer. I didn't actually slide too much, but uh, yeah, I didn't really want that much of a slide. Toyota is now looking back past. It is to the inside. It is going to get to the inside. There's nothing I can do. However, we're going to try and run it in deep around there. Keep momentum on the exit. Can't do it because we've got a slide on over a bump. And we're going to lose out to the Ferrari, I think. I mean, this is good news for the Coronet because we've all started fighting each other, although the Dodge is not very nice into this final section. We were very quick through there, but I ran out of space. We then slide all the way through the final corner. <laughs> this is a wonderful four-car battle. And it's a shame one of us is going to miss out on a podium because it has been an excellent little tussle here. And I don't know what way it's going to go. I fear it might not go the way of me. My Renault is dicey to drive. Uh, my Renault, I'm really struggling. I don't like snappy over. Maybe I should have gone with Forza Aero on the back. I lost a lot of straight line speed, but it might have controlled the snappy oversteery nature of this. 
Um, I really don't like oversteery cars. I've talked about it in the past. It just doesn't suit my driving style. Oh, god damn it! We had an absolutely stunning run through there, and Gliska was slow mid corner, and we got stuck behind the Ferrari. Uh, we might struggle. Uh, although not bad on the exit of the water section again. We're going to take a very different line through here uh, in the hope that I can get the power down nicely. Which I can't because of the bump. Oh, this bloody Renault, I swear. <laughs> it was a good idea. I feel like if I hadn't tried it, we were going to be in trouble anyway. Um, but the bump there really just screws you over. Ah, oh, god damn it. Oh, it screws this car over. Maybe a different car could have made that work. It is going to be the Dodge will claim victory. We do lose out on the podium. Little unfortunate for the Renault at the end there. Uh, we had to try something. Uh, and it didn't quite pay off. I mean, it was a wonderful race. I like that Renault 5. That's a fun little car. Uh, the Dodge, it got some speed by the end of that. We we got past it. We led briefly. We fought, we fought one another. We fumbled it a little bit, and the Dodge got away. I think the Dodge had just enough speed at the end of the day anyway to keep us at bay. But that was a very, very good first race. <laughs> Even if slightly gutted we didn't make it on the podium. We are off to the Caldera Scramble for our next race. Could be a strong circuit for the Renault. Uh, in I say in theory, possibly if we are if we've got a good good handling. Although the hill might kill us. <laughs> Straight line of speed, uh, sort of on the exit of turn one up that steep hill could give us some trouble. Although we are light, you know the plus point is there is just less Renault to drag up the hill. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. Uh, I'm hoping for a good result. We are buried a little bit in the pack. The Dodge is further up. I mean, we've got... A potential other two main rivals are behind us in the form of the Ferrari and the Toyota. Uh, but the Dodge with a good spot on the grid up there might be difficult for us. Who knows? We'll chuck it into turn one and kind of see where we stand. Oh, there's a lot of rocks around. That could be less than fun. Uh, of course, I'm very light. The Dodge won't have... I mean, Dodge might have some problem cutting through the rocks, but it'll have less of a problem than I will uh, cutting through these rocks. Uh, and certainly some of the big muscle cars, uh, that will be an advantage to them. Oh, there's... Oh, well, I mean, we... <laughs> I was trying to desperately find a gap. A very sideways, very large muscle car uh, filled the, uh, the road in front of us. Uh, we are going to have a sneaky little bit of a look to the inside of the Escort that I don't think was uh, quite expecting a huge amount of speed from a Renault 5 suddenly to appear there, but we made the pass stick. Uh, the, the, the Ford did see us just in time, so yeah, we got that one done nice and cleanly. So we're trying to chase down an MR2 uh, currently. So that is the other mid-engine car in the field, I think the only other mid-engine car that we have going on. So that does that will have smaller tyres than I do. Uh, but we'll have the same traction, I guess, advantages. Although, can we duck underneath it here? Oh, there's a little gap. There's an overlap. We've got the Renault alongside, and I think we can make the move stick and claim a second place. Yeah, that change of direction there is where we will be better than the Dodge. And what I can try and do, I think the rocks are mostly cleared now. As I say, if there are rocks about, if we just sit in the wheel tracks of the Dodge, let it clear them out of the way for us, and then we can hopefully sneak past. Uh, it do seem like we've got away from the Ferrari and the Toyota here. When I think when it gets really twisty, I think that's where the Renault excels. Yeah, the Ferrari and Toyota are stuck in traffic at the moment, um, but it has to be really twisty for the Renault to be excelling. And even here, while I like this car, I like the speed, I, the way it drives scares me. The back end is always seconds away from having a very, very big problem, uh, which makes it difficult for me to throw it into these corners with the belief that it's going to stick and throw it into these corners as hard as I need to if I'm going to catch this dodge because that dodge is fast here. We have caught up to it, but uh, I'm finding a way past is not going to be easy. I'm hoping it makes a mistake, if I'm honest with you. It'll be a lot easier to pass if it does because uh, as much as I can gain in these corners... We come out the other side, and it's just got the grunt up the hill. It'll have some big tyres on it as well, so it has good traction. Uh, where we're going to get the pass done is... I mean, we have to be absolute fly through here, and then it's this next corner is where we're going to do it. This next sort of chicane. This is where we're this is where we're making most of our lap time on the dodge. This lap around, though, I was out of shape. 
I was out of shape. The Dodge hit the wall, but I was twitching and I was fighting the back end of the car. The Dodge is sliding, but you don't get the same twitchiness with the big muscle car. It's, it'll slide, but it's a more gradual thing. This just snaps and wants to go, and it just wants to kill you constantly, <laughs> which does alarm me. I mean, quite a lot, if I'm honest with you. Uh, we will... Okay, I'm trying a slightly different line there. Running up, almost up against the wall. Use the banking to help turn the car. Was good. Felt fast. Unfortunately, we're just too far back. Uh, we can be neat through here. Let's see if we can have less oversteer this lap around. It basically comes down to, if I get any oversteer, just all of my speed evaporates. And the Dodge can get away with a little bit more. Uh, I think this has got the power to get out of the corner. Uh, I'm so momentum based. I mean, this lap around, we've been, we've been really good this lap. I needed to do that last lap. I needed to do that, well, I needed to do that both laps, essentially, if I was going to stand a chance. I think we might get fastest lap of the race. It'll be close. Oh, <laughs> I might have done it, I hit the wall. I think it'll be close overall between me and the Dodge. I mean, it was a good climb through the field. That Renault was strong there. Pleased with how it performed at that track. Uh, we do get fastest lap of the race. Only a tenth in it. Good performance from a very big muscle car on a very technical circuit. Uh, interestingly, the uh, Toyota and Ferrari struggled. Toyota was about the same lap time as me, um, but couldn't cut through the traffic quite in the same way. Ferrari not quite as strong around that circuit. Um, but there we go. Good performance from the Dodge. I'm happy with my Renault around there, as terrifying as it is. We head to the Baja Cross Country Circuit, and this is in fact the first time this has been run in, in one of these uh, videos. Uh, I'm probably not going to be that strong at this track. It won't be terrible, but this is more of a power circuit. Uh, my Renault just does not have the top end. Uh, it is, as uh, so there was always going to be the fear with this car, the way I've kind of built it. And it does not have the power of some of the other vehicles. But, I mean, we'll, we'll do our best. You never know. It is quite good off the line. It has quite a long first gear, which I'm actually okay with. Because it means it doesn't really spin the wheels. And it just sort of launches, which is quite nice. Uh, it's nice and composed off the line. It's a shame it's not nice and composed anywhere else. It's just a death trap. Uh, so, yeah, this track kind of weaves its way through the dunes. Uh, so we're going to get some air time. There's an escort doing escort things, going very sideways. There's all sorts of cars having trouble through here. This is a, more of an extreme test of these vehicles than we have perhaps had so far. Bigger jumps. Uh, this is a more, much more sort of cross-country circuit, if you will. Uh, so we'll test out the suspension on the old Renault 5 here. I suspect probably not going to be the best across these, but you never know. Oh, there's a big amount of air time for an MR2 there. Uh, we will sneak our way up the inside of said Toyota. Uh, but of course, yeah, this this stuff here is all flat. And while we're quick through that banked corner, that top speed is just going to be lacking. The muscle car is going to have 400 horsepower from stock. I think it's 425, is it? Uh, in that Super B. That's, uh, yeah, uh, almost twice what we have. The Cyclone will have quite a lot as well. I would imagine that's not far off 400 horsepower. Oh, dear. I got a wandering going on there from the little Renault. <laughs> I, it just every so often it does something that just makes me go. Just, just, it just, it just wants to remind you that it could throw you off the circuit at any point. It is, you, or you've got to respect the Renault Five because if you don't, it will decide that you are visiting bits of scenery uh, and probably doing it quite quickly and with very, very little warning. <laughs> like when you have a big spin with a muscle car. It generally happens quite slowly. Like, you, you can get it wrong and you can get to a point where you can't recover it. But it's normally happening quite slowly. With this, it is going to happen within half a second and there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, which is uh, not ideal. Not ideal at all. The Toyota is battling away with the Dodge here. Uh, we've caught up to the Dino. The Dino and 190E, not seen those uh, as of yet. Uh, the Christmas Ferrari is recovering. It's not had a great time, though, uh, around here, which does kind of surprise me. Uh, it might have had a twitch on the hill on the first lap. A few cars got caught out on that first lap by that hill, so I don't know whether Chris would have lost time there. Or maybe the Ferrari just doesn't quite like this track as much. It does It does happen. Uh, we are trying... Mercedes has got more straightaway speed than me as well. Uh, we are trying to do something about the 190. Not going to do it here. The Dino also outruns us, so yeah, this sort of track is bad news for me. 
we just don't have the top end to fight. I think that's the problem. This car is quick, but the nature of cross-country circuits, they're often more relying on top end. And while my theory of going for mid-engine traction is good, it's not enough to overcome that uh, need for the top speed, which we just don't have here. Uh, we will find a way past the Dino. Uh, the Dino's got the top end on us. I mean, the Dino's also, of course, mid-engine. Uh, oh, we're going to go side by side in a difficult point. I will let... I'll say I will let. I will give that car space. I'm more worried about just make sure we get a good line through this section, uh, which we do. Uh, oh, big spin for the 190E. I don't know where it's going to end up. Ends up in an awkward place. Uh, <laughs> that's unlucky for the Mercedes. The Coronet's got exploring a mile wide over there. I mean, I'm not surprised we've seen more cars spin. That is a horrible section. It really does test these cars because these cars not none of these cars here are really built for what we're asking. That was the point of this series, if you like. We've got cars so far outside their comfort zone, uh, but that does mean you can get in trouble with them. That corner is so fast and so sketchy. We carried all the speed, though. It was glorious. However, that was just on the edge of having a massive accident again for us. Oh, God. Every lap. Every lap does feel like I'm on the edge of having a huge crash in this car. If I get to the end of all of these races without spinning, I will be amazed. Ferrari's got some pace. I obviously made a little mistake somewhere, dropped back when battling with the Merc, uh, but it has just left us. I've got absolutely no answer to it at the moment. Uh, Coronet, maybe the I think the Toyota must have made a mistake because the, the Coronet's mistake had dropped it back and the Toyota was gone, but then the Toyota's fallen back as well now, so I'm going to guess the Toyota may have made a little error somewhere. We are clear of Gliska, though, in fifth. There's, there's a chance for a podium because, tell, there's a chance somebody spins on the sand dunes here. There's a chance I spin on the sand dunes here, though. That is always uh, always a possibility. And I feel like my car is one of the closest to spinning every time over here. Uh, oh, we're all out of shape there. That's really... It's a really bad line through that section for me. However, the imp <laughs> it's a bad line, but the more important bit is I didn't spin. We got away without spinning there. That is critical, uh, funnily enough. Over the big jump. The Coronet's got huge airtime. Don't want You don't want to go too far to the right there. You don't want that airtime. It looks spectacular. Not good for a lap time. You want to uh, try and stay as flat as possible if you can. Uh, we can probably be rapid down here again, which we are. Uh, so yeah, we can catch the Ferrari all through this section, and then we just can't match its pace up. I'm not going to bother with fourth gear, because we go into fourth, we'll just immediately have to change down, because we're going up such a steep hill. Uh, oh, Ferrari had a terrible landing, which is good for us. Oh, Ferrari missed a checkpoint, did it? Must have done. Or either that will press rewind by accident. Um, maybe the Ferrari's terrible landing meant they just lost. I didn't think they missed the checkpoint, but obviously must have done. They must have just like, lost their place on the track while trying to recover from that. Oh, we looks like we're going to get a podium. Not sure we really deserved it here. Um... Yeah, the Renault was an experience. The sand dunes were mean. A number of vehicles went for a spin early on. Um, we kept it together. Not easy to drive, that Renault, but it will be another podium. No answer for the top two. They were too fast. Toyota and Dodge uh, far too quick around there. We get a faster lap than the... Wait. Oh, Toyota must have missed a checkpoint. I don't see them swap. I don't know what happened at the end there. Um, we get a faster lap, interestingly, than the Toyota. The Dino gets fastest lap of everybody. That was flying. Uh, no wonder it buggered off from us. This goes around a similar lap time, a little quicker. Uh, I, I quite like that track, actually. That was that was, that was was not bad. D a very different sort of challenge. Um, I'll take a podium. We head to a very silly track for our next race. Uh, this is a very silly track. It, on... I mean, the track map, it looks simple, and in reality, it is barring one huge jump. Actually, two. One huge jump and one fairly large jump that can make or break your lap time around here. Uh, none of us who are in vehicles that are going to be happy with the landing. I don't know what's going to come. My expectation is that Dodge should be good here. As I, as I said before, that should have the most ground clearance. That should be the happiest with landing the big jumps. Could 
the mid-engine cars be strong there? Possibly. I don't know why we would be, but I, think we're, I feel like we're too low. I feel like the ground clearance of the Dodge is going to make all of the difference. I mean, the Renault might be quite nice in this little section. It might be able to carry some good corner speed where the Dodge can't. But, yeah. The big make or break of your lap times are going to be these landings, which the Dino was not good. The MR2 was even worse. But, as slightly feared, perhaps, the Coronet was strong there. Um, that got a very good landing. Now, it... The, the actual corners on this are quite technical, which could potentially cause issues for that big muscle car. And we actually snuck up the inside here when it got a poor landing there, so it's, it's not guaranteed to get good landings every time. Will have more straight line speed than me, won't have the grip of the uh, little Renault as we will chuck it up the inside, use the banking a little bit. Uh, Dodge is going to come off the banking, though, up high with some speed. Uh-oh, we are twisting in the air. Uh, we got all sorts of out of shape on that and the coronet is to the lead of the race however oh they're gonna go through the middle we're going through the middle with the Renault 5 the Renault is to the front the Toyota has come to join in the fun times problem is for us that coronet is probably gonna land quite nicely here uh, not as good as it did on the first time of asking um, but yeah okay what can we do oh I got my braking got my car in a little bit of trouble there I don't quite know what I did but my car got very unhappy through that section the Toyota is alongside uh, and that will be off here and landing. Well, it didn't land great. I feel like we're landing okay, which is not car like we're not bouncing, we're not wheeling like some of the other cars, but we are not carrying enough momentum. Uh, we, I think we maybe if we wheelied a little bit it might actually help us uh, carry some momentum to get going. Let's see what happens on this one. Not good. <laughs> not good for either me or the Toyota. Yeah, the Coronet is just too good on the landings, I think, for us. Uh, I'm trying to go for a cutback. Uh, I mean, it, yeah, we had we had the momentum, we could have done it, but the problem is I just didn't have the grip to avoid running into the back of that car. Uh, that's annoying. It does look like third might be all we can manage here. Uh, we can carry some good pace through there. If I don't mind the fact that the back end goes a little bit all over the place. Third on the landing, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, maybe sort of hold clutch in, put it to third for the landing of that one. I don't know what I want landing on this next big ridiculous jump. Uh, maybe second. Because we know we're going to lose a lot of time. So maybe if we just run off here, hold the clutch in. Yeah, second I think is the way to do it. We don't crash around like everything else, uh, which is what, what makes it feel like, oh, we should be good here, but we just hit the ground and stop. We don't bounce, we don't wobble, it just stops, but it still kills all the momentum either way. Uh, so, yeah, this, it's, still, it's still losing time. Uh, I think definitely think clutch in uh, and kind of have it revved up is the way to go, perhaps. Uh, so, yeah, again, here, we'll go off the ramp clutch in, wait for it to hit and lose all its speed, but have the revs built maybe. Um, it is kind of much of a muchness. Uh, there's only so much I can I can do. Because again, it's the same thing. We're lacking just that little bit of straight line speed that these two ahead of us have. Uh, we, we're very good in the twisty stuff. But the cross-country circuits do not have enough of the twisty stuff for me to really make the most of it. Yeah, we're at least... I guess the plus point is as much as this car wants to kill me, the car wants to kill me on tarmac. On the big jump landings, it's actually consistent. Uh, I'm not going to say fast, but yeah, it is one. I, mean, I was watching that Toyota. It lands and it bounces all over the place. Uh, it might carry momentum. Uh, I don't know if it does really actually carry that much more on the, the jump landings than I do. It's faster to turn these sections. Uh, but yeah, it bounces all over the place horribly and we don't really do the same. Uh, we crash, lose momentum, but we do it at least in a controlled manner, which is something. Well, there's something I can take away from all of this. Oh, this silly, silly track. It's a really silly track. It's fun driving it from time to time. Sadly, this has got a little bit spread out. It does happen around this track sometimes. Can I have very good races here? But sometimes you do get uh, everything all spread out. Yeah, I mean, we're going to be a few tenths off the lap times, really, if the car's ahead. They didn't vanish, vanish up the road. 
They were kind of there within sight, just nothing I could really do. They were just slowly pulling away. I guess the dodge gets fastest lap, uh, which it does. Okay, actually, they're a bit, bit faster than, than the Toyota. was a bit faster than, than I was expecting uh, compared to me. Uh, I mean, yeah, third fastest lap for us. Kind of about what I was going to really be able to manage, that dodge. When it got it right, that dodge was fast around there. Not massively surprised. Expected that to be good on the landings, and sure enough, it was. We are on to our final race with these, uh, well, not quite cross-country machines. Uh, it is raining. We have, I mean, we're going to like the little square section here. The rest of the track I'm going to not have as much fun on. See what we can do. We're a long way back. It's going to be difficult. It's, it's going to be tough, I think, in this one. A podium might be possible. Uh, California has a good spot on the grid, though. Hmm. Let's see what uh, let's see what we can do. We'll be up, we'll be well off the line here. In the rain, I don't know how much that's really going to affect this one. If I'm honest, it, it might make my car more of a death trap. It might make us a little bit, it might make us a little faster in comparison if we can make the most of our grip and some of the other cars struggle. Uh, we know we're a very good handling car here, uh, but if it makes the twitchiness worse, then we could be a very difficult to drive car. Uh, it's it actually been a pretty good start. Toyota leads, Ferrari second. Uh, it looks like the Dodge is now going to take second away. The Dino's up here. I mean, we know the Dino's pretty fast in a straight line, so that could be quick in places around this track. Uh, we're to the inside of the 190E. Uh, can we? I mean, the real question is, can we make up enough lap time in this sort of twisty section to pose a threat to the front cars? Oh, we do squeeze a Dino a little bit in that one. <laughs> Sorry, Dino. <laughs> oh, it's going to be four wide into turn one. No, the Dodge is going to... Everything's going to just outrun me. We're going to try and cut back and again find our way through the middle of the Dodge and someone else. It does work for the Red 05. We're up to second. Uh, here comes that Toyota. Here comes the Dodge once more. Uh, oh, the Dodge hit the wall. Uh, that is obviously an indestructible post that I did not... I didn't think the Dodge was that wide through there. Might have got hitboxed uh, a little bit. We actually got nicely around that section. Uh, surprisingly, for the Renault 5. Uh, right. Now, we are coming up to the part of the track where we should, in theory, be strongest. Uh, this kind of twisty square. If we get it right, we can maybe start making some ground on the Ferrari. You see the Ferrari sliding, although we're now sliding as well, which doesn't help matters. We're good. Yeah, that's, that, is, that is basically the section that we are making all of our lap time. The rest of the lap, well, we're not terrible elsewhere. But that's square. I mean, thankfully, it happens at the end of the lap. So, I mean, maybe we could be in the right place. God, this is so on edge. It kind of reminds me of driving a go-kart in some ways, in that the second it starts sliding, I'm just losing all of the speed, and it really wants to oversteer this. Uh, we're trying to set up for a great run through here. We've actually carried a lot of speed. Uh... I don't know quite how we carried that much speed there. Gliska got it a little bit wrong through that part. I ended up in the wrong. I just didn't expect to carry that much over speed. I don't quite know how I managed to. Uh, we will run into here and we will try and again carry the momentum through there. Although it's some oversteer from me. I'm still struggling with oversteer on the bumps. Uh, we're going to run wide on the exit here. I mean, we're not going to hit the wall, but it is going to just make us slow down the straight. And that's a problem because that then just gives the Toyota free reign to fire back past. What can I do with my Renault here? It is, uh, life is difficult in this race. It's, uh, <laughs> we've definitely got pace here. This is probably the most competitive we've been since the Caldera circuit, if I get it right. Uh, ah, oh, debris. I was hoping that was not going to have respawned. Bugger. We needed that not to be there. That tight line, I think, can work for me, but I've got to be more careful of the debris, and I fear we might have lost a bit too much time, unless the front two really start fighting each other, which is always possible. Uh, I'm trying a slightly different approach through here. Gliska missed a checkpoint. Oh, no. Oh, it's all gone wrong for the Ferrari. It's all gone wrong for me as well, because I'm miles out of position through there. Just overdriving the Renault a little bit now. Come on. Only got one more time around. I don't think I've got an answer for the Toyota here, I think. Steve is going to have this. We're definitely faster at this track, though. Uh, I just My lack of straight-line speed is what's killed us a little bit. Uh, the lack of straight-line speed 
we might have got away with it if I had more rear end grip. Because I just can't throw this car into corners and carry the momentum because I just don't trust the back of it. Uh, the back just wants to step out. So, yeah, we could maybe have got away with this level of straight line speed if I could be faster in the corners. But it's just it's not comfortable to throw this into the corners with the speed because the back end just does its own thing a lot of the time. Uh, it's a slightly better final lap, although big oversteer moment through there will not have helped. Yeah, again, not a million miles away from the Toyota. If I could get it all together, if I could get it all together, I could probably match the lap pace. I just didn't, <laughs> didn't even really get a good lap there. Uh, I should think a 52 is possible with that car on that track. Uh, Gliska unlucky to uh, just miss a checkpoint at a critical stage of the race. Um, yeah, I feel like we could have got a little bit closer. Interestingly, the Dodge it hit the wall early on and it fell back. The Dodge had no speed at that track at all. Uh, the Dodge was, was not fast there. It was really between me and the Toyota uh, on the most part. Gliska, yeah, not far off. The, uh, yeah, not, not a million miles off. But yeah, the Dodge, surprised it struggled as much. They've been so quick everywhere else. But there we go. Uh, that was a fun series of races. Something a little bit different. I'm not sold at them. That Renault 5 is not for me. That driving style that does not work for me. Um, it's just too twitchy and... I'm sure some people could get more out of that car than me. I have no doubt. But that just does not suit the way I want to drive my cars. It's just, I just can't extract the performance from it because I don't trust the back of it. But there we go. It was, as I said, I enjoyed the races. It was an idea. Didn't quite pan out for me, but that is how it goes sometimes. Anyway, that is going to be it for this, uh, for this video. If you would like to sign up uh, and take part in the next one of these, you can via our Discord. There will be a link in the description. Find the Versus the Community section, and you can register to take part in there. That, though, shall indeed be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.